Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. Um, okay, so tomorrow we get Jack, which is Saturday, so it's Friday today. So um, I really want a new pair of riding boots uh, just because my riding boots that I've gotten now, I've had for seven years. So I think it's about time I got some new ones. So I wanted to go to the equine store today. Uh, the day before we uh, get Jack because, um, yeah, I just felt like getting some new ones before he came. So I keep hitting my elbow on this guitar, which is so annoying. <laughs> okay, so we went to the equine store, um, Robinson's uh, Equine in he Haywood. No, not Haywood, in um, mm, mm, Haydock. That's the one in Haydock. Uh, some of you might know which one it is if you're in the UK, so we might not. Uh, but it used to be really good for equine gear, but now it's teamed up with I think uh, sports directors uh, bought it or taken over or I don't know. But uh, it's okay, but really confusing now. So we went in there, and we couldn't find anything, but I managed to find where the boots were, so I was all right. Uh, so. I'll show you the things bef I got before the boots. So we needed a head collar for Jack because he's such a is he like is a shire, so he's gonna grow massive. So we wanted to get a head collar that uh, was big enough that it would fit him. So I ended up finding this Whitaker uh, head collar, and it's a extra full. So as you can imagine, it's huge, and it's sticky because it's got like um, leather preserver on it right yeah <laughs> i put my hand in it at the shop and i was like oh hell no that was nasty but um yeah so we ended up getting this whitaker one and uh, there was other brands there but i like the this one the most and this one was 35 pounds um and it's humongous so i'm pretty sure this is a fitting this this bit here uh is on the last hole and this noseband can go bigger than that so this will fit him uh so yeah we got this and it's just a brown leather head color so i needed some new uh riding gloves because the ones that i'm using right now are my mum's so she'll need them back so i decided to get myself some um riding gloves now they didn't have a massive selection of riding gloves there they only had a few so i only had a few to pick from but these were the best quality ones that i could find uh these ones are nine were nine pounds and yeah so i got these ones for the quality because these ones were the better quality of all of them so i wanted quality ones because if you are a horse rider you'll know if you buy the uh, really cheap gloves that only last like five seconds when you're riding um and all these grips on the gloves start to come off so i wanted to get some expensive ones um these are not the most expensive by the way but i wanted to get some ish expensive ones so that they wouldn't just fall apart as soon as i wore them do you know what i mean so to go with jack's head collar we also got some just plain black lead ropes now these were four pounds but were reduced to one pound 99 because it's now sports direct <laughs> so we ended up getting two plain um lead ropes for his head collar uh i don't know why my mom just told me to get two i don't know why we actually got two and i think it's just because they were one pound 99 and yeah so we just got two of them Okay, so on to my riding boots. Now, I really, really wanted um, a pair of riding boots that had, like, lace up the front. If you know what I mean, I'll insert a picture. Oh my god, the head colour's got a Whitaker thing on it. I didn't even notice that. That's so cute. Anyway, anyway, back to it. Okay, so I really wanted a pair of boots with lacing up the front, but um, they didn't have any that would fit me because they were all too long. Now, with riding boots that are long, uh, you have to be careful because sometimes if you're short i'm not short i'm like five foot four so i'm not really short but they fit really tall people and also your uh, leg has to be thin for them and my legs are thin but um too thin and so they're like really baggy still do you know what i mean so i have to be really careful when buying riding boots so i can't just buy them offline like most people can i have to actually go in and most people will probably do that anyway just to check if they actually fit because they are expensive the ones i was originally looking at were eight to nine pounds reduced from a uh, hundred i think and 
The second ones I was looking at were uh, £69 and then I had to go for these ones because the, the woman was really helpful and she was like, I think this one will fit your leg better. So I was like, oh, okay. So I tried these on and these were the best. Now they are a tiny bit big and they are a size five and I'm a size five and a half usually. That wouldn't open then. I'm a size five and a half usually, but in boots I'm a size five or smaller because uh, when I bought my Timberlands I found out that was a size four and a half and I was like okay then so yeah so I'll show you them okay so this is what they look like it's really hard to fit them in screen because the phone is that way but um this is what they look like on the bottom and I like how they've got this too I don't know why anyway because they because it has this it gives you a little bit more kick to a horse because I ride really stubborn horses that don't want to move half the time. So, um, yeah, it just gives you an extra little kick boost, you know. I don't have the strongest kick in the world anyway, so, you know. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is what they look like. And the, as you can see, they're a really thin leg. Um, so they fit my leg better. And these brand, if you're looking, I don't know what that brand is, but I'll show you guys. It's just that. So if you guys are looking, these were £100. Now that is expensive, but if they really do last as long as they say they will do, then that is a great investment for me because I had my last ones for seven years. And they were like, I'll insert a picture, but they're not like riding boots as such, they're like all type boots. So you can look out in them, you can ride in them and all that. So yeah, it did last me a long time, but I've wanted a pair that are dedicate to riding because they look a lot smarter, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I got these. Um, yeah. So if you think about ride, uh, buying a pair of riding boots, make sure to go in to the shop and actually try them on because this bit always hits the back of my knee. Um, so you always have to go in and try them on just to make sure they fit because they are expensive. So just to prevent you buying them and having to send them back again just go in and try them on hi guys sorry to interrupt but if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i really really appreciate it thank you guys and this is the other one it's just the same but they also have these little clips here and here so yeah that is them so yeah that is um my little mini equine haul um thing we do have more stuff but again my mum ordered it online so can't exactly show you guys that this is just what i got from the shops today and um yeah so i'll be videoing tomorrow i'll be making a youtube video tomorrow um because jack is arriving he will be going down the farm about 12 and he'll be there around, around about three o'clock maybe so i will be vlogging tomorrow so and that will be up either the day that i film it saturday or monday it just depends when i get to edit it um but yeah so watch out for that and i will link it down below my last video but we went to see jack so if you really want to go see jack before i upload the video out go check that one out and link it down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching love you guys bye